All right, so Mira is bringing Alice May to the cake. Oh, I don't know where she's going. I don't know if she's leaving. Oh my God, Corinne does not have any clothes on. Hold on. Araminta, oh, she, yeah, exasperated from being instigated. Oh no. and welcome back to another episode of the royal family we are going to be doing a lot in today's episode i'm really excited we are going to have araminta's coronation ceremony technically it's an enthronement ceremony but we're calling it a coronation ceremony because that's what everyone is used to here and then we're also going to be aging up alice may and having her birthday party so she's going to be aging up into a child and then araminta is going to go to han's kingdom to meet his family for the first time the rest of his family as you can see it is raining like crazy in guangxi i tried to use a cheat to get it to stop, but literally no matter what I did, I even turned it off in the game options. I turned off rain in the game options and it will not stop raining here. And I hope that's not foreshadowing something that like, I don't know, something bad's gonna happen or something. I hope not. I'm not planning on anything bad happening. So I hope that nothing does. The guests are still arriving. We have Leilana and Johan. We have Han. Han is here. Han, lo oh, Han, Han looks a little bit tense. I think it's because he's outside in the rain. Oh no, there he goes. Okay, I feel like he was just like waiting outside before he goes in like, all right, I'm getting a little bit nervous, but I should go in. But yeah, today's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see Alice May. I'm excited for you guys to see Araminta's coronation ceremony. I will kind of like explain it to you as we go because it might be a bit of a process. All right, let's go ahead and start the coronation ceremony. We'll just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, I'm very excited for this because I got a lot of animations that would work. We decorated this during my stream, so it looks very, very nice. She's already Empress, but this is like actually her ceremony for it to just like officially like take on duties and all this stuff, even though she's kind of been doing that already since her father died. But as I had mentioned in the last episode, we had postponed her coronation ceremony ceremony just because they were figuring out her father's murder but an enthronement ceremony or a coronation ceremony so I did some research and it looks like in ancient China there's only really been one enthronement ceremony but basically it's like all the elders and like nobles and just like very important people they would come bring the emperor or empress gifts so it's not like a crowning of them like it is for other kingdoms but what I decided to do was have like have the gifts that people have brought already on the tables next to her and then we're lining it up so starting with her family Family, so her mother and then her future husband Han and then Anya because I mean she has to it's her sister so it's like family first so Anya and then Takashi and then we have all the monarchs I didn't really put them in any particular order I have like Amira, Nea, just like all the monarchs we saw in the last episode that are like within our alliance the alliance of the seven kingdoms oh, that, sounds, that has such a good ring to it I love that so much basically they're like offering their blessing they're, getting, they're like kissing her hand it's just very symbolic we don't have to see everyone go up I'm going to stop this before everyone goes up. But yeah, there's Han and he's so cute. I just feel like he's like blushing, like kissing her hand and like seeing how amazing Araminta looks because she looks amazing. And then we have Anya who's super tense. She does not like that she's doing this, but she has to and she hates it. Yeah, I will, we're gonna find out way more about Anya. I'm, I'm focusing more on Araminta and Han for this episode and next episode, but we'll come back to Anya in another episode for sure. But yeah, I don't think you guys have to see like everyone kissing her hand. So if this is all we're going to do for a coronation ceremony, but basically all the monarchs would kiss her hand and then any other nobility in the kingdom, it would just be like a really long process and a very long ceremony, but we don't have to see all that. So I just wanted you guys to see this because I was actually very proud of this. And I posted a really cool picture on my Instagram of Han kissing her hand. And guys, she looks so good. Araminta looks so good. She's so confident, but like humble. And she's so caring. She's just amazing. She's amazing. I I also started adding my build and buy objects on my Pinterest board as well. So I have a section for that if you wanna see where I got some of this stuff. But yeah, so that is Araminta's enthronement ceremony. She looks so fancy. She looks so cool sitting on her throne. It's just amazing. But we're not gonna spend too much time here because we're about to go have, where like later in the day is going to be Alice May's birthday party. I do want Araminta, I'm gonna teleport her in here. I want Araminta to talk to Han after this event. It's kind of like a morning event. They're going to be going to Han's kingdom so she can meet his family and it's going to be interesting. It might be a little bit dramatic because you guys heard Han's backstory in the last episode. So this is Kentaro. So this is Maylin's, oh wait, wait. Oh, they're dancing. Oh, they're all dancing. Hey, there's Cornelius. 
Corn Boy is here. I don't, did I tell you guys that in the stream? We've been calling him Corn Boy and we've been calling Alice Farm Boy. So their ship name is Corn Farm. That's what we decided in the stream. I also started streaming, like now I have a regular schedule. So it's Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I also have my schedule on my Twitch. So if this changes for some reason from now till later, then you can just look it up on my Twitch. Uh, but yeah, I lost, okay, I lost Kentaro now. But Maylin, oh wait, literally he's dancing right next to her already. Okay, so I'm wondering if they can be together now. So Kentaro got divorced and now they know who the killer is. They don't know who is behind the killing for sure, but they know who the killer was. So we're wondering if maybe Maylin and Kentaro can end up together. I don't know, let me know what you guys think and maybe we will do that in another episode. But yeah, so I'm gonna just, we're gonna leave this event here. People are, are doing their thing and then we're gonna go see, it looks like Amir and Jabari are here, but they gotta head out soon. So let's just end the event. We are now at the Windenburg Palace and it's a nice sunny day here. It is so much nicer here. So we have already started the birthday party. We have Charles here. Charles is here. And then Alice May. So I put her in this ball gown because we rarely got to see her in this ball gown, but it looks a little glitchy on her right now. Maybe I should change it. But she looks so good in it and I never really got to see her that much in that dress. So Kellen is not here. Kellen and Megan and William, they are still on their long trip. I imagine they're gone for like six to nine months or something like that. Like they knew they wouldn't be there when Amira had her baby. They knew they wouldn't be there for Alice May's birthday kind of thing. So they're like sending them gifts and stuff, but they kind of got to like do their thing. So they're off doing that. They'll probably be back in like two or three episodes, I would say. So we'll see what they've been up to. I've been meaning to post pictures on my Instagram of them as well. So I'll make sure to do that. We have Princess Belle here. I think some of the guests are still arriving. Okay, and then you guys did tell- Oh, we have Kaleo here! Little Kaleo! I think I'm gonna change him into a different, let's see, dresser, change outfit. Let's change him into a different, yeah, this like nice little suit. So when Alice May ages up, I, I won't change her outfit in this episode. I'll probably do that in one of my streams. But by the next episode, she should already have her outfit all already. Why is it, Zamor, you guys, Zamor's angry. She's so angry. Do you think she knows about Azar and the baby? Oh my God. Oh my God, she's so angry right now. Oh no. Oh God, we'll have to look into that later. And then there's Lady Ariana or Princess Ariana. And then there is Prince Jack, which is Gabriel's father or Earl Jack. So you guys did let me know, thank you in the last video that I could just use MC Command Center to have like allow the teenage and young adult romance relationship. So I think we'll pay attention to, I mean, Sir Thomas Stratton should be here. He sh technically should be here every event. Just imagine that he's always been here and that there's other guards too. They're seeing each other like so soon. Like they just saw each other at the Monarchs Ball and met. And now they're seeing each other again at Alice May's birthday party. So there's that too. But Amira's dancing with her brother. This is so cute. Bellatrix should be here too. I definitely saw Samaria. So I know I said Bellatrix and Charles and Anya and Araminta were the same age because we did age them up on the same day when they were going from children to teens. But I'm kind of thinking I might age up Bellatrix and Charles first. And let's just say that they're slightly older than Araminta and Anya. But yeah, I'm ready for Bellatrix and Charles to age up into young adults, but I'm not ready quite yet for Anya and Araminta too, just because as soon as Araminta becomes a young adult, she's probably gonna have her wedding. We might take a little bit of prep time, like a few episodes afterwards, but there's still some stuff that needs to happen before that. So I might age up Charles and Bellatrix first. So Charles is like, I will say he's already applying to university and stuff. He's applying to Brychester because he wants to go to university. Bellatrix is gonna go into the military pretty much like as soon as she turns into a young adult. So she's kind of like using her last days to spend time with Samaria before she goes. And then we have Diana here. I know I've got a lot of requests to pay attention to Diana. So we definitely will soon. We're just finishing up some of the other stories. Where's she going? Wait, come back, hold on. Oh, I don't know where she's going. I don't know if she's leaving. Oh my God, Corinne does not have any clothes on. Hold on. And here's Bellatrix. She looks irritated, like very irritated. And I don't know why, I hope she's okay. But yeah, anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and age up Alice May, cause we do have a lot to get into later. Although I love having parties and I love being able to see everybody. It's a lot of fun. All right, so Mira is bringing Alice May to the cake. I hope the outfit that she has when she ages up isn't like too ridiculous. Cause I, I wanna see what she looks like. I'm very excited. I'm so excited to pick her outfits. I'll definitely show you guys in the next episode when we pick her outfits. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Alice May's skills as a toddler earned a bonus trait. Oh, cool. All right. 
Um, Amira was wild as a child. I feel like Alice May's a little bit spoiled. She was independent. Jabari spoils the crap out of her, so there's that too. I'm wondering if she would be athletic because I really have this idea that I want her to be a dancer and like you guys would only see pictures of her really as a dancer and stuff. Maybe she's a natural leader. Actually, let's do natural leader because she could be, it says natural leaders earn club points much faster. Oh, okay. And they'll be able to overthrow leaders with ease. So that could either be like she could be bossy, she could be independent, she might get a little bit too bossy. So. That's a chance, but just because Amira was like that, I kind of like the idea of her also being that. Also, Alice May is the heir. I feel like I mentioned this in the last episode. I don't know why people thought that, but Alice May is the heir. I don't know why that would change with Cedric. Maybe because he's a boy and before Kellen was the heir because he was a boy, but that's all changed now. Like Amira has definitely changed that rule. Now the rule for like all the kingdoms is the oldest child is the heir, no matter if it's a boy or a girl. All right, so. Alice May is a natural leader, and then an aspiration. I've got like four to pick from. Um, let's actually do motor because I do want her to do this dancing thing. So I want her to be a little bit like rambunctious and active and stuff. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, this is not. I have no idea what she looks like right now. Maybe I should change it. But you know what? Let me. Okay, really quickly. I'm just gonna change it to something very basic. It's gonna take like no time at all, and then I'll come back and then I'll do like her full outfit and stuff later on the stream. So yeah, let me just change this real quick. All right, I've just changed Alice May's outfit. So I picked the hair that she had as a child or as a, as a good toddler because that was just the most similar and I just like it when they like age up to like just somewhat look similar and then we can change the outfits later, like a gradual thing. So I will definitely give her more of a makeover. I love this dress on her because Diana and Bellatrix had the same dress, but like a different color when they were younger and it just, it was so cute on them. So I want it to be hers too. I know it's really fancy for like what everyone else is wearing. Actually, Amira changed. This is not what she was wearing before, but uh, it looks like a lot of people changed actually. Actually, I don't know why, but she's the birthday girl, so I figured she should wear something nice. I kind of like the idea of this necklace being from her parents, from Amira and Jabari, because it's like one of those cameo necklaces. I just feel like that's like her, maybe her birthday present or something. I'm gonna have Amira call everyone to the meal. So Alice May has aged up now into a child. I definitely want her to go talk to Kaleo, so let's go talk to him. So we will do a friendly introduction. So the bonus trait that Alice May got, so she got top notch toddler. So Alice May got a strong jump on skills as a toddler. They improve all other skills extra fast. Oh, that's cool. So she's a really quick learner then. So Alice May, did you talk to Kaleo? Why are you? Oh, she's practicing singing. Maybe she could be singer and dancer. Maybe she could be musical theater major. Sorry, I, I, I like musical theater. So that's why I'm saying that. <laughs> but she'll be, she'll be a dancer, but maybe she also sings, which would be really cute. And then I also, I'm going to add Bellatrix to the family. I'm also going to add Ariana because I want Bellatrix to talk to Samaria a lot because they're going to spend a lot of time together before before she goes and leaves for the military, which makes me really sad, but I'll become best friends. Can they be best friends? That's so cute. And we have baby Cedric, he's sleeping. I'll probably age him up maybe the next episode, if not the one after that. And then Alice May is having a group conversation. She's talking with Kaleo. They seem to be getting along like really well. All right, Bellatrix and Samaria. They're spending a lot of time together before they go. And I'm, I'm sad. I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but I did a little story thing of Bellatrix asking Samaria if they can still do long distance. And it's, it's kind of sad, but that's on my Instagram as well. Um, so you guys can check that out. My Instagram is in the description below. And then Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton are talking in here. Do a heartfelt compliment. Oh my gosh. Wow. Their friendship. It went up so fast. It's so high. My goodness. I right, start flirting with him. Start flirting with him. I feel like there's already a little bit of a romantic relationship there, but you know, oh my God, they're like, they're like best friends. Like the friendship bar has gone all the way up. It's like, it's like they've known each other their whole life. They're both very flirty. There's already a little bit of, of romance going on. Okay. Wow. Wow, that was really fast. Okay, so we'll have to see about that. I don't know if Ariana would just go out and, and tell her parents about him. I don't know. I think the reason they wouldn't approve, not because he's not a royal or a noble, but because he's older than she is, like a lot older than she is. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but now there's a little bit of a romantic relationship there. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So we're gonna end this here. We're gonna go to Araminta and Han now, which I'm excited to do. But yeah, we'll definitely come back to some of the other storylines in other episodes. But I'm so glad we have like everyone showing up at parties now because there are a lot of people here and I'm excited about it. So we are now in Sakura Hills or Kinching. So this is Hans's home. This is where he grew up. I've 
talked about this in the past, the fact that this is Forgotten Hollow. It's a little cloudy today, so it's a little gloomy, but um, I'm trying to make it sunny, but it doesn't seem to want to work. So the mod is out for Sakura Hill, so I will link the mod in the description below to download that, so that is released to the public. So Hans's Palace is made by Riley05 underscore three, so you can find that in the gallery. There's no custom content. All right, so let's meet Hans's family. So this right here, so you guys know Admiral Jung, so this is Tai's husband. Of course, we have Princess Tai, and we have his nephew, Shen. This right here is his older brother. This is Prince Akio. He's the heir to the Qingqing throne. And then this is his wife. This is Azumi. So they don't have any kids yet, but they're trying for kids. So maybe they'll have kids later. But yeah, he doesn't have the best relationship with his brother, as I mentioned in the last episode. Oh, well, actually, look, I'll get into that in a second. So this is his father. This is Emperor Li Wei. So he is, he'll be turning into an elder pretty soon. Oh no, he is an elder. Oh, just kidding. Okay, he already turned into an elder. But yeah, that's his father. That's Emperor Li Wei. So I mentioned in the last episode, I actually, I need to get Aramita to talk to them. She's got a little bit of a relationship since I moved her into here because she'll be staying here for a few days. So let's just try to be friendly and talk to them. But yes, I did mention in the last episode, Hans's backstory, how his mother died from childbirth from giving birth to Han. And then his father and brother have blamed him for it his whole life. His brother's way more vocal about it. His father just never remarried. He's very quiet. He has like a non-existent relationship with his father. It kind of gets ignored by his father. His brother just is mean to him. He hates him. He calls him like a monster. He says he's like a curse to the family, like all this stuff. Like it's just really horrible, the things that he says. And then Tai is the one who took Han under her wing. So he's got like a really good relationship with Princess Tai, his sister. She's almost like a mother figure to him. But his father, Emperor Li Wei, and his brother, they wanted to meet Araminta more for like business reasons, not because she's marrying their son and brother, more just like to talk about things. And I feel like Araminta being here, she's realizing what Han is treated like in his family. He, I feel like Han was definitely scared. He was scared to tell her the relationship that he has with his brother and father. And I feel like he was like hoping that his father and brother would be on their best behavior here. Oh my God, wait, oh, is Araminta yelling at him? Wait, hold on. Maybe she's just being really stern. There's an offensive conversation. Maybe he was being rude to her. Maybe, maybe they're like talk, like saying things like just form this alliance and just talking about their military and just asking if they can like borrow like weapons from them or I don't know, like, like things like that. Like things that are just very upfront that Araminta was not expecting to really talk about here. Araminta and the brother, they need to talk to. But I think Araminta is gonna try to be friendly though. Araminta is very friendly, but I feel like if someone's messing with someone that she cares about, then she'll stick up for them and, and she can save things that needs to be said. She's very straightforward. But yeah, now they're all talking to, oh, oh well she could, I guess the wife Azumi could come here too, but maybe she just doesn't want to. I feel like Han's relationship with Azumi is also non-existent just because he doesn't like his own brother. And I just think that the whole kingdom, they've kind of been led to believe that Han is this like monster. Like that's what the emperor and, and the emperor's oldest son, his brother, that's kind of what they've like led everyone to believe. So I feel like a lot of people think it, whereas Tai, she's never really stuck up for Han in front of her brother and father just because she's kind of scared to, but she takes care of him at least. Oh no, unpleasant conversation. Oh my gosh, his brother's being so rude right now. Akio is being so rude. I feel like Han is like, I knew this would happen. Like, of course this is happening. Han just really hates his brother. I feel like Han maybe is like muttering some things under his breath to, to his brother. Like, just like stop it, like that kind of thing. And it's just like, it's a thing. So yeah, okay, this is already tense. They're arguing, Araminta. I don't know, I just feel like the brother is arguing with her. I just feel like he's being rude. Not like a, we don't like you thing, but he's just rude because he's kind of like rude to a lot of people. So this seems to be a little bit tense. It's almost dinner time, but I think I'm gonna have Han and Araminta. I kind of want Han, I, I think that they should just get away. They're having this really intense conversation with Hans's family and it's it doesn't seem to be going well. So I think I'm going to have Han and Araminta. I think Han's gonna show her his favorite place. So this is this little like lotus garden that I feel like is a little bit hidden that maybe Han has kind of always been escaping to since he was young. And the sun is setting too, so this is really nice. But yeah, I feel like this is just a little bit more of a hidden area that Han said like, hey, do you want to get out of here? <laughs> like not in like a confident way, kind of like a, oh my God, this is going very poorly. And my family, like kind of like Han just wanted to get out of there. So we asked Araminta if he wants to come too. Oh my God, Han's feeling very flirty. Han is feeling very 
party, Araminta. Oh, she, yeah, exasperated from being instigated. Oh no. Okay, so Han is talking to Araminta now. I feel like he's apologizing, like just saying, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I'm sorry about my father and about my brother. I feel like she doesn't want to pry and ask about things, but also like, like this was not what she was expecting his father and brother to be like. I think she just feels really bad for him and she, she doesn't like the way that they're talking to him and the way that they're treating him. So she's just, I think just wants to help make him feel better. He's showing her this. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Oh my God, he's feeling more flirty. Feeling so flirty. I feel like he's just so flirty around Araminta. It's crazy. But they're spending time together too. So that's really nice. But yeah, maybe he's like telling Araminta a little bit. Maybe he's able to open up to her. Just telling her that he doesn't know much about his mother. He just knows her name was, so her name was Empress Nori. So that was his mother. And obviously he never got to know her because she died during childbirth. We'll have to see in the next episode if Araminta maybe might stand up for Han or something. They're gonna be spending a lot of time together in the next few days. So I think that Araminta's maybe might start catching some feelings and stuff. She's just so caring. She's so empathetic. And I think she just feels really, really bad too. But I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you guys think of Han and Araminta and Han's family. Let me know what you think of Alice May aging up into a child. Let me know what you think of the other characters that we touched on in this episode as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.